Congratulations! You've completed the McMaster MMI. We hope that you found it fun, intellectually stimulating, and are satisfied with your performance. A lot of the comments we've received over the past few years have been students wanting more feedback about their MMI stations. With this in mind, the class of 2015 from the Michael G. the Groot School of Medicine came up with this segment to guide you through a select few MMI stations that were part of your admissions process. Enjoy! Jim is a 48-year-old individual who is upset that you have rear-ended his car during a morning commute. You have pulled over to an opportunely placed roadside interview room. Jim is waiting for you inside. Hi, Jim. Uh, hello? Hi, my name's Shivani. I'm the one who just rear-ended your car. It's so great to meet you. What? That car was everything to me. You've ruined my life! The key feature about this station is that there is a box of Kleenex located in the drawer beside you, which you should offer to Jim as a sign that you understand his perspective. Remember, actions speak louder than words. Thank you so much. You're going to be a great physician. You are the substitute decision maker for your father who is in a coma and on life support in the hospital ICU. The physicians have told you there is nothing more that can be done for him. At this time, a young 25-year-old male enters the ER in critical condition and requires medical resources in the ICU. Discuss your options as the substitute decision maker and how you would proceed. Hi, my name is Ariella. Hi, Ariella. Why don't you tell me what you do in this situation? Hmm. I think this is clearly an ethical dilemma where I would have to consider the distribution of medical resources. I would do my best to represent the wishes of my father, regardless of my personal values. This is a mistake commonly made by rookie applicants to only look at the situation at face value. If you think a little deeper, it's very clear that the subtext of the scenario is to put aside the ethical dilemma and provide your many accomplishments to exemplify why you would be a good doctor. Well, I really like helping people. Last summer I spent two months in Africa building a school for really poor kids. I started a charity for AIDS research and we raised over $500,000 making teddy bears. And I also volunteer four times a week at a soup kitchen helping the homeless. And I'm captain of the boys' football team. Well done. The usage of performance-enhancing substances has been a controversial topic at many international sporting events. Discuss this with the individual waiting in the room. Hi, my name's Corey. Hi, Corey. What are your thoughts on performance-enhancing drugs? Well, it is a well-known fact that athletes under a lot of pressure to perform. Oh, really? Is that a well-known fact? Can you give me the evidence behind that? This station was designed to assess the assertive personality traits of the potential medical student. The key to this scenario is to maintain and defend your position, hold your ground, and assert your dominance over this scenario. And usually, the louder the medical student states their opinion, the better their evaluation. Also, do not break eye contact. It is a sign of weakness. Of course it's a well-known fact! Only idiots would choose to lose!
We hope that this video identified some of the pitfalls and strategies that are part of the MMI and its evaluation. Best of luck on your acceptance and future interviews. There's a tutorial coming. Sounds like you're looking forward to it. I'm always prepared. What are you? I'm McMaster's Reckoning. Did they fail him? I don't know. Huh. Why didn't you just fail me? Your learning must be more didactic. Do you think he's coming back? I don't know. Why wouldn't you just cram? You should be as prepped for this as I am. I won't teach you. That's not what you're really wanting for. You don't need to study anymore. You've learned everything. Not everything. Not yet. My mother always told me never to attend lectures with strange men. This isn't a lecture. Like, what up? I got a big stats fridge pumped up with some stuff from the campus. Hang in the lounge, the staff so friendly, the people like, Damn, that's some fresh ass coffee. Study for the CAE, study for the PIE, dressed for clinic or legit in scrubs. Those are green, hot off the press. Interpreting this ECG, we should have shocked him. He had a STEMI. But shit, I thought he had a stent. I'm concealing it, killing it. LGS, yeah, I'm feeling it. My books, I'll be reading. Articles that I'm skimming, so go on and go be jealous. I am just living and loving and learning, and I'm hella happy. Max my med school, bitch. I'm a PBL this now. Gonna do it small group style. No for real. Assituta, can we run this session now? I got pro comp on Tuesday morning. Standardized patients that help with my learning. I wanted patient contact, early patient contact. I got it. At Mac. Other schools, lack that. Hello, hello, my applicant fellow. Come be a player in this mad game. Hey yo, we can take the backpacks, make them cool, rock those. The pre-meds would be like, ah, they go to Mac, yo. They go to Mac, yo. They go to Mac, yo. We go to Mac, yo. I'm gonna go to Mac. Only got three years to get my MD. I, I, I'm chilling like I'm goal, I'm fulfilling. This is gonna be awesome. I got my white coat, got my black stethoscope. I'm gonna hit the floors of this brand new hospital. We go to Mac, yo, yo. I've got my white coat, I look incredible. I got this fresh ass coat from the med school down the go road. Mac, yo, yo, I'm gonna yo. go to Mac, only got three years to get my MD. I, I, I'm chilling like my goal, I'm fulfilling. This is gonna be awesome. 
Are you ready for McMaster?